Hello, welcome to a new vlog, welcome to my channel. This is not really a vlog vlog. This is my first grocery haul. Like two weeks ago or something, I decided to buy all of my groceries, like the essential groceries online, because I knew I would have so much to do, so much to do these first couple of weeks, and I didn't want um, to worry about food, and I know myself, I love food, I eat a lot of food, <clears throat> but if I'm busy, then I literally, I can forget about food. So I need to have it here in front of me and then I'll eat it. So I've ordered it two weeks ago and it came in two days ago. But I'm, I've been so busy that I haven't checked on it. So this is the fridge stuff apart from the bananas. Um, I've put it in the fridge, the freezer stuff I put in the freezer. I didn't look at it. And then besides those two bars, I also have four boxes that I've just put over there and I haven't looked at any of this stuff yet. So I'm going to do that with you, just share my first essentials that I decided to buy two weeks ago. Um, and also, because I have a lot to do, I have a lot of food that it's in packaging. So for example, I prefer to eat uh, lots of fruit and vegetables and I didn't buy that. Because I was like, it needs to be handy, it needs to be quick. And this is the time to try all of those things. Like for example, these things. And also see how my body reacts to these types of food. Because I don't know that yet, because I've never tried this. And then I know that in, for in the future. So, first up is my fridge stuff. Apart from the banana, so let's start here. I have a bunch of bananas um, because I love bananas. They're very quick and they're very good in smoothies, which I love to make. Another fruit that I had to buy are grapes, especially these ones because they're very sweet. I love me some good grapes and um, yeah, they're quick and easy and sweet and I love it. And then there's one thing left from the fruit and vegetable section that I had to buy and that is a cucumber because I work at a bakery so I have a bunch of bread um, that I get every single day. I was like, well okay, then I can eat bread for breakfast and lunch, then I'm all covered for the next couple of weeks and then I only have to buy dinner, but I also need something for all my <laughs> slices of bread. And that is hummus. This is a dry tomato and garlic key hummus. I don't know. It is a form of hummus and I uh, love this one. I already know this one. But I prefer this with something on top. So cucumber it is. And right here some orange juice because you know don't get a lot of fruit and veggies in uh, and now I can. And right here I have some fresh soup. This is a tomato soup and this is a pumpkin soup. Um, I have no idea if I would like this. I am quite picky when it comes to soup. So let's see. And right here, yesterday I ate the other one. I have two salads that are like pre-made. This one is with chicken saute, and yesterday I had chicken pesto. I don't know, I guess I've never tried this one before, and the other one uh, is even in my video. I went swimming with my friends. Then I've got some eggs, love me some good eggs. These ones are the respect eggs, so it's like an egg with the respect, <laughs> because I do want good life for the chickens. Right here, some pasta, um, gluten-free pasta. Really want to try some gluten-free pasta and see if my uh, tummy prefers that. Because if you haven't seen that yet, 
I have made two videos about why I eat what I eat. Um, you can check that out if you want to know why I am trying gluten free pasta. But this is because I have IBS. So then two things I know I can't handle <laughs> because it's a form of bread that my tummy doesn't like. But I love this so much. Um, so I'm just going to eat it and I have tummy aches. And then that just sucks but yeah, this is so good. So this is focaccia bread. This is just amazing. You have to put it in the oven and then that's that. And then also this one. It's my all time fave. Can't handle that at all. <laughs> but I love it so much. So, there's the fridge stuff. Now I'm going to go to the freezer for the freezer stuff. So, part two. <clears throat> the freezer. I have bought a huge freezer because, uh, like I said, I have a bunch of bread. Uh, and I also love smoothies with fresh fruit uh, that is frozen. And it's always good to have some easy to grab things like um, fresh vegetables that are pre-cut or something. Uh, so that if you're in a hurry or if you're super tired, then you can just throw that in the pan and then it's all done quite quickly. For now, I have a lot that I usually wouldn't buy. Um, also, like I just said, I'm currently so busy that I want food that is done super quickly. So this is for like the first two weeks or something, all of this food that I have bought. I've bought a lot that I have no idea what it actually is. But let's just go. This is, is a vegetable ID uh, Italian. And I guess, from what I see, just a bunch of vegetables with spices and stuff. You can just throw that in the pan and then you have your vegetable meal or side. I don't know how much it is, but you have that all done. So this one is Italian and then this is the same. And it is with pumpkin and quinoa and broccoli, lentils and peas. And then this one is carrots, yellow carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, and it's like the farmer's one. Then right here, fish cuisine. I love this way too much. This is like, you put it in the oven for like 45 minutes or something. This is insane. But this is so good. You have to try this. Then here I've got three lazy vegan ready meals. So you have like this, you put it in the pan and then your meal is good to go, apparently. I had never heard of this brand before, uh, so I'm just going to try it. This is a tikka masala, this is Provence and this is Mexican. So we shall see. Then right here I've got some grilled vegetables. Also you just put it in the pan and then you have grilled vegetables. This oh this is not good for me. But I love this way too much. I've got I've got some bunch of my faves too. Like, you know, you have to treat yourself. Um Rusty. I don't know how you pronounce that in other languages. Um, but I know we say rusty, uh, and it's just like this circle of potato with bacon and onion in it. So good. Then here, oh, these ones are delicious. These ones are called the frikandello from Mecca Food. The halal, which means uh, you can have these ones if you're a Muslim. And I love this. The... Way too good. Uh, quite spicy compared to normal frikandelle. And I love that. So that's that. Then some. Oh, it's quite a huge bag. With peas. 
always good to have if you don't have vegetables at home like you have a meal and you're like oh no i need more vegetables you just throw this in the pan and within a couple of minutes your vegetables are done so it's a staple in my household then some staples for smoothies um is frozen fruit so i have blueberries strawberries raspberries and then oh yeah this one i really wanted to try this is a green cuisine powered by plants it's a veggie bowl i have no idea but apparently you just, just put this in the microwave yeah in the microwave and then in 10 minutes you have your meal no idea how my body will react to that but we shall see then some vegan ice cream because i tried to stay away from dairy as much as possible so and Ben and Jerry's is always a good idea then Vionetta that totally includes dairy but this is my fave <laughs> so this is a single portion and I was like you can have this a one evening as a dessert and then you should enjoy it and then that's it <laughs> so that's that I'm gonna put this away because I feel it's melting and then we're going to continue with the four boxes. I have no idea what's in it because I ordered that two weeks ago. Okay, box number one. Uh, I realized I also bought a lot of cleaning supplies, cleaning, cleaning stuff. Uh, and this is my first time that I have to do all the cleaning at home. I had no idea what I needed to buy. <laughs> so... Sorry if you feel offended like with, with some things that I bought like you don't need that or that's stupid to buy or I don't know because you know I don't know any of these things. So first box what's on top of it? Toilet paper rolls. This was uh, on sale so love that for me. Then oh yeah this is for your vacuum. Cut and round female hygiene stuff, a bunch of bags for the trash. So I have lots of lots of different ones because I didn't know which one I needed. Also, there is a, there are a bunch of places uh, where I need a bin. So I need a bin at the toilet, I need a bin uh, in the kitchen, I need a bin right here, right there. Like I need a bunch of bags, I don't know which one will fit in which bin, like, I don't know. Still need to figure that out. Ugh. For washing, it does smell good, I have to say. Tissues. These ones, if you're able to buy these ones, they are perfectly fine and so inexpensive. Oh, more bags. This first box is such adult life. Okay, more bags. More bags, cleaning vinegar. <sighs> More bags. I didn't know what to buy, okay? Oh, this is like a foil to keep things fresh. Oh, Ziploc bags, freezer bags. <laughs> I didn't know what to buy. Sorry. Oh, this is heavy. It smells good. Mr. Muscle. This is something we use at work. I've never seen my mum use it, but because at home uh, I used to cook electric and now I have a stove. We use it at work, so I was like, I need some mist muscle to make everything clean. To make everything clean. This is for my laundry. Um, this is super bad for the environment, I heard from my mum. I had no idea. I heard that after I um, made this order. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've got this. And then she was like, that is super bad. So I'm going to try to look for something else. But my mum did say she has a washing machine and a dryer. And I don't. I only have a washing machine. She was like, this is good if you don't have a dryer, but it's still bad for the environment. So, uh, I don't feel guilty buying this, but maybe I won't buy this every single time. Like maybe, I, I can try to look for something else, um, but not now. There's still a lot that I need to do. 
Ah, two food thingies, some chickpeas, always good to have on hand, and some red cabbage, also always good to have on hand. Literally, you just put this in the pan and then your vegetables are ready. So, this is the first box. Box number two. I already see. Um, so I bought this at a supermarket named Yumbo. It now also has stuff from Hema, which means I could buy these kitchen things too. So this is just for when I want to buy, uh, when I want to make a cake, and this is for I don't know something else that I want to buy, that uh, something else that I want to make um, whilst cooking. Uh, especially this these ones are especially for baking but yeah I didn't have that yet so excited and batteries always good to have on hand like those things for me personally those things are the things that you forget about because and my parents we always had some spare batteries and then when you need one you just know where to grab them <laughs> But now I have my own household and I need to buy those things beforehand for myself because otherwise I have a problem when I need it. So mitts for the oven. It's not really a mitt, is it? You use it for the same thing. It's from reusable cotton, so like that. Ha do for the beloved. Um Yeah. We have this brand named HG. The slogan is like it does what it promises and it really does what it promises so i didn't know if i needed all of this but i was like what if my house gets super messy and i want to clean it and i don't know how then i have this on hand so bunch of those things and another one it was three for two i believe so that's why bunch of those g things because i just didn't know if i needed it I feel like when you travel a lot, that's my experience, I traveled a lot, I got used to know what I needed. When you travel with someone that's not used to traveling, then they overpack so much, most of the time, that's my experience, okay, sorry. Um, no offense to anyone who doesn't, but some people tend to overpack because they just don't know what they're gonna use. I really feel like that with this because I just don't know what I need so I just buy all of it. Then right here, oh yeah, some green soap. Uh, we used to have this at school and my teacher was always like, green soap is the best, you should have it. So <laughs> I was like, I need to have it. Two for one, now I can finally do the dishes because I still haven't done the dishes here. Uh, even though I do have dishes because I didn't have this. This one is small though, but it's cute. Spatula. Wow, fancy. Oh. It's not fancy at all. <laughs> Still though. Always good to have. Pearl sponges. I had no idea what this even was. But I was like, I need it. All of those cleaning bits. I was just like, I need all of it. I don't even know what this is. It looks so shiny though. I love it. Because sometimes you need to measure stuff. Some rice crackers. A bucket. Because how can you clean when you can't even put water in anything? For fruit flies. Let's have a party. Yay! I can do my laundry. <laughs> Safety pins. I feel like an adult. I feel so cool. Oh. I literally thought that I needed everything. Bicycle lights. Mainly because, literally, this is the reason why I bought it. I have good lights on my bike, but if they break, sometimes that happens, or all the battery is empty, I don't know, then I don't know how to fix it, and I always ask my dad, um, but he isn't here. So, for example, if it happens on a Tuesday, and he can fix it on a Saturday, then what do I have to do in all those days in between? I don't want to please to get me, so here is the solution. <laughs> oh, that's all what I thought. Markers. It's juice. 
is pure blackberry juice. I am not a massive fan of juice, uh, mainly because I just don't like the taste. I don't know why. I love smoothies, but I just don't like juice. I love this one. So, that's that. That was box number two. I am so excited to get to those other boxes because I hope there will be more food in there. This is like <laughs> adult 2.0 you when this is empty again. And then that will be box number three. Box number three. This first thing makes me way too excited. By the way, now that I see food, I really feel like every single year since I was a little kid, my dad gets this huge box with Christmas uh, from his work and it's just filled with food. We would sit around the box and everyone would pick one thing from it and then we would, we would go like round, round, round. I always loved it. I've got so many good memories from those Christmas boxes from my dad. And this feels like that. I love it. But the first thing is this pineapple slicer. My mum used to use this all the time and I feel like I need it too. Then some kitchen towels. And then I see food. Oh no. Other cleaning things. I guess that should be it. It's not that much in here. I saw all of these snacks online and I was like, I need to try all of the snacks that I'd be like, that might be nice, that might be good. So the snacks with the good ingredients. So for example, this is a full fruit, no crap fruit bar. One bar is made with one date, one apple bar, 18 sunflower seeds and a hint of cinnamon. I have never tried this before, I have never tried anything from this brand before and if I haven't tried anything from this brand or if I've never tried this then I always feel a bit scared? I don't know. I was like, okay, this is the time, you aren't gonna bake anything yet because you won't have time. Just buy a bunch of all of the things that you feel like you need to try one day, this is the time and then you know, and if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it ever again. And if you love it, you can buy it. So, this is the first thing. Oh, naked bars. I love these. I already know how they taste. And I love that. I just, uh, I love this. It's the same, uh, if you've never heard of this, it's the same thing. Um, just a small amount of ingredients. So, for example, dates, cashew nuts. Raisins and raspberries in this one and dates, raisins, cashew nuts, almonds and strawberries in this one. And right here we have dates, almonds, pecan nuts, ginger, <coughs> Ooh, what is that? Something that I don't know in English and cinnamon. I've never tried this one before though. Oh, right here, another thing. Fruit rolls from beer, apples, pears raspberries and black carrot and that's it some people love it uh, i haven't heard so many people about it yet but i was like i need to try it for myself so there's that oh another one i really went for it oh, these ones are so good kachang this this is the best don't know what to say about this just Try it if you haven't already, buy it if you have tried it already, um, because this is the best. Don't buy it if you don't like spicy food, but other than that, this is, this is great. So handy. Uh, you can make this yourself, but now that I can't because, you know, I'm busy. Um, this is just a apricot and almond mix, and it is with... Raisins, almond, apricot, coconut, rice flour and sunflower oil. Personally, when I would make this myself, I wouldn't put those last two things in there. But other than that, great snack to have. Love that. Buy nuts. Don't have anything to say about that. Other than that, I eat that almost every single day. I love it way too much. So, yeah. Almond meal. Gluten-free meal. I would love to try for bacon because if I love it, and it's gluten free, way way better for my tummy. So, that's that. Kettle chips. 
Um, some uh, real food ingredient sea salt chips. Petal really love that. And then I've got some tea. I have a bunch of tea as you may or may not know because I love tea and I drink tea all the time. But I only drink green tea and white tea and uh, like fresh mint tea, tea with spices, but no black tea. And if I have people over that want black tea, then I find it a bit weird that I live in this tea house with no black tea. So bought this variation mix with lemon tea, forest fruit tea, orange tea and peach tea. So if you come over and you want some black tea, got you covered. That is food box three and then the last one is also filled with food. So I'm excited for that. See ya! And it is time for the last box and that is this box with tea on top. More tea that I won't use myself. Earl Grey. This tea is, in my opinion, the most disgusting tea. I know if, for example, my mum comes here, um, she loves this. You have people covered, you know. I want, I want them to feel at home here. And Roybus tea, something else that I don't drink. I might want to try it, but I bought this for the people that are coming over. Coffee creamer. I don't drink coffee. Also, for the people that are coming over, if they want coffee and they want milk in it, I don't want to have milk at home that can expire because I don't even take that myself. So, coffee creamer it is. Then, Italian herbs. I have a bunch of herbs already um, because I used to cook at my parents and I had my own herbs but Italian herbs I could always use for my mum and I was like, wee, if I'm gonna make something here and I need Italian herbs and I don't even have it so bought that myself green pesto don't need to say anything more about that um, only thing is I would love to make that myself too um, but for now it's good to have it like this gluten free pasta want to try this one very excited about that also, this brand is so good with pasta. Arborio risotto rice. This is something that I love. I love risotto. So, so looking forward to use that. Some basmati rice, which is a uh, aromatic flavored form of rice. Um, and this one is also fair trade, which is good. Quinoa. And I love this because it says quinoa. Pronounced as quinoa. <laughs> oh, that's my kind of humor. I love that. Bought a bunch of soups. Um, soup in a bag is something that isn't very good for you because there is so much in it that you won't need in a soup, like sugar and all these kinds of artificial flavors and blah blah blah. But it does taste good and it's so easy. So, good for now. Um, I bought a bunch. So here it is. And then I can try all of these different flavors. And then I know which one I love. Did I go a bit crazy on the soups? I don't know. Um, but what I do know, there was like three for twos. Wow, this one is huge. I didn't know that. Um, olive oil. I thought I bought a small bottle, but no, I did not. Very handy. Some blasters. Didn't have enough soup already. Uh, some cup of soup. <laughs> Maybe I did go a bit crazy on the soup. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Um, some chips um, this one is also not as bad for you like normal chips when you look at the ingredient list it's not that good uh, and I'm, I'm not gonna say that this is good for you that this is a good option what is this oh yeah so 
I love eggs and I use eggs a lot you know, of my baking but also to make omelettes and stuff. I kind of want to cut out eggs because of the cancer gene I have. But I don't really know how to because I love eggs. <laughs> um, so there's a struggle in there. But I found this vegan easy egg and I really want to try this one because if this is good then I can just use vegan eggs uh, instead. Some more adult stuff and <laughs> shampoo. Why did I buy shampoo? Oh I remember when I if I would buy this then I wouldn't have to pay for the delivery costs. Baking paper, parchment paper some people would like to say. <laughs> okay so as you may or may not know this is not so that I can see um, but I love wearing it because I do look I do use a lot of screens and this is with a blue light of blue light filter also I love to wear this when I'm on my bike because I can't handle the wind quite well and then they're all like teary and <laughs> then I love to use my glasses too but they get disgusting so easily and I come from a family where everyone wears glasses especially my mum can be quite judgy about me having such disgusting glasses so I'm always like mom can you clean them for me and surprisingly she always does but I don't live with my mom anymore so I have these <laughs> to help me out then I can clear it then right here I have 100% pea organic pan so some pasta from made from peas almost done which is good because this the video is way too long. I've got some raw organic food bars. So a raw bar with cacao orange and a raw bar with apple cinnamon. And then right here I've got a caramel bar from Bio Today. It's a vegan bar. I don't know if these are... Oh, these ones are vegan too. So that's good. Oh yeah, I was so intrigued about this. A uh, mushroom pate. It's from Bio today, and apparently, it is like just normal pate from pork, but then made from mushrooms. So, can put that on my slices of bread. <laughs> oh, basil pasta sauce, arabiata. Love that. It's like a hot sauce, a hot tomato sauce. Sorry. The last bits are all tomatoes. I have sun-dried tomatoes, tomatoes, tomato puree, and tomatoes. <laughs> so, that is that for today. I got myself covered for the next two weeks, I believe. Um, which is good because there's still a lot that I need to do. If you haven't seen all of my moving vlogs yet, you can click right there. I guess right there. I'm always so confused. But you can click in the corner and you can go to all of my moving vlogs. This one is actually the last one in so many weeks of filming, which is weird. Next week will be all up to date for you and um, I hope I'm all settled and well then and won't have a ladder here in the corner. <laughs> I'm so excited about everything and I hope you are too. Stay tuned for next week and I hope to see you soon. Oh, by the way, forgot my full outro. Like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell for notifications and other than that, I hope I will see you next week again. Bye!